Hi boys and girls, this is Miss Cheryl and this is Mr. Kevin. Today we're going to make edible slime. Today we're making edible jello slime. You ask why we're making edible slime. Well, we're home and just in case we drop our slime on the floor, our dog friends or cats eat it. It's okay and they're not going to get harmed or our younger siblings decide to taste it, it's okay and nothing will hurt them. So the first thing we're going to do is get instant pudding. You can use vanilla, jello pudding, store brand pudding, whatever. So, we'll open it up, assistant. And this is a fun thing that we can do of the family. Okay, <clears throat> can you pour that in please? Good job. <clears throat> the second thing we're going to do is it requires a cup of cornstarch. Again, any brand of cornstarch works fine. A half a cup of cornstarch, then water, mix it really good, and then add the cornstarch as we need it for the consistency. So let's begin. This is a cup. Okay, we have a cup of cornstarch and a third cup of warm water. Can you put half a cup of that in, please? Half? Mm -hmm. Okay, now pour the water, please. to mix it. Now the fun part is too, it doesn't matter if you get a little dirty, it's a good sensory, cornstarch feels really cool on your hands. How's it starting to feel? how sticky it's getting. So, I'm thinking it needs a little more cornstarch. Can we have some more cornstarch in here, please? There you go. Don't be afraid. Pour it in. Pour it in. Woohoo! This is so much fun. Cornstarch, cornstarch, slime. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm thinking that my recipe might need a little more water. Assistant, uh -huh. Mr. Kevin, can I have a little more warm water, please? Sure. Thank you. Well, oh well, again, if it got on the floor, it's okay for animals to eat it. Oh, nice and sticky and gooey. Yes, I love sticky and gooey stuff. This is so much fun. You pull it apart. Ooh, it smells. Oh, the smell of vanilla smells so good. And if you want, you could add a couple of drops of essential oils to add a little more smell to it. Okay, here comes my assistant with my water. Just a little water at a time, please, Mr. Kevin. That's good. Oh, listen to that. consistency of slime. And you know when slime gets stuck on your hands? You can use cornstarch to get it off your hands. You could even use, if you have flour at home, you can use flour. 
Some people have also used saline solution to get it off your hands. I've heard that's a really good trick. And look at this consistency now. I think it did need a little more water. Maybe a little more water, is this Thank you, Mr. Kevin. Welcome to Kevin, what do you think? That's okay. I think we should put a little more cornstarch in it, or you think it's a good consistency? Maybe a little bit. Let's see. How much do we have left? I think maybe we'll lose. Show the camera. We got maybe less than a quarter of a cup left. I think what I'll use for that is maybe to put that, we can use it on the table. Oops. So if you put some on the table, you can roll it around the table so it doesn't get stuck on the table. And then you could use your slime on the table and you can play with it. And then you could use different things, like we have our cups here that we used before. We can make circles out of it. Look at that. See? We can just keep playing with it, and it's a good sensory thing. So we just go like this. You watch it fall down. Look. And again, moms, dads, aunts, uncles, you know when you're baking, the best thing to do get that stuff off your hands is what? Flour, cornstarch, right? And when we roll dough to make cookies, it always gets stuck on the table. You can put down parchment paper, placemats, but it's a great craft. It's fun to do. The kids love it. All different color, kinds of pudding flavors too. Mr. Kevin had put more water in. We put another third cup of water into our mix. And now we have the consistency of really, really, really gooey slime. So if you don't want it to be as sticky as it was when I showed you before, you could add another third cup of, of water, warm water, and you get more of the gooey gooeyness. Again, you can play with it. If you want to add a little more cornstarch, you can, and that'll give it more thickness to it. Um, with more water, it does come off your hands easier. It's not as sticky. It will probably stick to the table more though, so you're probably better off using a placemat or a parchment paper or a bowl like such. I would suggest with kids using plastic. I use the glass just so you can see more inside, but I don't know if you can see this. And then if I add a little more cornstarch to it, it gets to that from that. See? So it's a little bit of a mixing game of playing, but it depends on how you at home like it. Do you like it really sticky and gooey? Do you like it more of that sticky, sticky stuff that I had on my hands before? Either way, it, it's up to you. It's your preference, but it is a lot of fun to play with. You could save it and put it in a plastic bag if you want and make it nice and cold. And then you can see how it is when it's cold. It's probably gonna get more firmer and that'll be more fun to play with too. You can also add food coloring. You can make it different colors. Um, you could put it back in a bowl. You could add toys to it if you have toys at home. And then I know that some friends also had suggested doing water play. So after you're done with this, you can get the water play out, put the soap in, and you could do water play with the soap. And then that's a good way of getting all this stuff off your hands as well. I want to thank you for joining me and Kevin with this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day and hope everybody is healthy and safe. Bye! Give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel down below, and hit that post notification bell on so you get notified every single time we upload a brand new video.